Hey guys and welcome back to the Man Cave, the channel you've never heard of, and welcome to a new Let's Play on my channel. It's Final Fantasy VII, the PC edition for Steam. This was released in 2013. But anyway guys, this is a, a highly modified version of the game. There's a lot of mods to this game, a lot of the NPC models have been improved, a lot of the textures have been improved, um, the backdrops have been improved, um, the text has been improved. I mean, there's improvements all over the place and you're going to notice them once we get going with this Let's Play. Uh, my idea for this let's play is to have five of them uh, a week. I'm gonna probably post them when you guys are sleeping, so they don't, they don't bombard your uh, su you know your subscription box. You guys can check them out whenever you want. I was thinking about uploading them all in one day, but I don't think that's you know really uh, productive. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get crack a lack in here, and let's go ahead and uh, get started. Here we go, new game. You're gonna notice that the. Um, the intro has also been modified too. Uh, it's it's pretty badass. I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna shut up now while you guys enjoy it. My name is Cloud. Soldier. First class. Damn, so that was pretty badass, you guys. So that was actually a uh, the tech demo for Final Fantasy VII that was released when the PS3 was first announced, I believe. And just to see, just to show people the capabilities of the PS3 at the time. So, uh, so the guy who made this, he kind of blended it with the old school with the new school, and I think it came out pretty good. All right, so he was Barrett. All right, so don't forget to get the potion from this guy right here. And as you can see, the character model is really improved. Let me here, and uh, let me go here in front of the camera so you guys can check them out. So. Big improvement over the cheapy uh, original Final Fantasy VII Cloud, so hell of an improvement. So here we go, let's go ahead and get into our first battle. And the actually, actually the, um, I'm all tongue-tied here, the, the background music is also improved too. This is MP3 remixed uh, tracks for the game. And if you look here, the menu screens, all the, oh, everything. So let's go ahead and uh, kill this guy right here. Look at Cloud's battle um, textures, it's, even the Buster Sword is all new, I mean, I'm getting all my lingo here tied up and stuff. I'm just really excited to play this game with you guys. So, um, there are some hardcore mods uh, to the gameplay to make the uh, the gameplay harder, but uh, I just wanted to play the game normally with all the uh, visual improvements and stuff. So here we are, level seven. Got a little potion, and let's get crack a lack in here. Wow. So I remember the first time I played this game. I was in Chicago when I first saw this game. It was amazing. I think this is the game that really got me into RPGs. Well, Secret of Mana in this game. Uh, so you're from Soldier, alright. Uh, but one of theirs in a group like Avalanche? Soldier, they're the enemy. Why would a Soldier join Avalanche? Hang on, Jesse, he quit Shinra. He's with us now. I didn't catch your name. Because it's definitely not ex-Soldier. Alright, here we go. So we got Cloud. And if you guys notice here, his... Um, 
I guess his character portrait has also been improved too. It's like the, uh, it's kind of got the look of Adam and Children. So, Cloud. Cloud, eh? Um, I'm not interested in names. Once his job's done, I'm gone. <laughs> and look, there goes Barrett's model. Everything's like improved. It's so awesome. All right, here we go. All right, make a reactor. Here we go. Thank you, Jess, for opening up the door. Ex soldier, huh? Don't trust you. Ah, uh, here goes Barrett, and yeah, because you can see that's his Advent Children portrait as well. So, um, okay, I already know that. Thank you. I'm sure we all know how to do that. So here goes the zoom in right here. Oh, it's so awesome! It's so cool playing this game with like updated graphics. I'm doing the little quotation marks now. So here we go. Na -na -na. I want to see all these environments. It's been so long since I played this. Wow, it's awesome. Plus, I want to get into a battle. Alright, here you go. So, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with the uh, random battles in this game, you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to edit them all out. Or if there's too many. I I'm not sure. I'll get your guys' opinion as we go along with the Let's Play. If it's getting too grindy. I'm not going to be doing any grinding. I'm going to try to just... Whatever random battles I get into, that's, that's all the level grinding I'm going to do. So, I don't really plan on... Like Final Fantasy VIII style, just sitting back and just grinding levels non-stop, so... I guess that'll, you know, increase the challenge a little bit, too. You have to be more strategic, I suppose. So here we go. Go up here. So I want to know what your guys' opinion is of Final Fantasy VII. Is it one of your favorite RPGs of all time, like it is mine? Um, I know I really like Final Fantasy VII. I really like Final Fantasy VIII as well, too. I, I can't decide which one I like better. I think Final Fantasy VII wins just a little bit more than VII does, in my opinion. But that's just because I played 7 before I played 8, so I don't know. And it was the game that really got me into RPGs, excluding Secret of Mana, like I mentioned before. So even some of the, um, going back to the mods in the game, even some of the uh, enemy textures have been improved as well, which is really awesome. And here, let me just go ahead and show you, uh, let's go ahead and summon Thunder here. Let's get a close up of Cloud. Yeah. And another thing we're gonna, well, We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but uh, the magics, remember um, your basic uh, magic attacks were, for example, fire 1, fire 2, fire 3? Well, it's been upgraded or to say fire, fire, uh, fire agra, so here we go. Okay. Of course not. I was always with the Shinra Company, remember? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Well, I'll tell you, Mako's the lifeblood of the planet, of our planet. Ain't those Shinra bastards are sucking it dry with all this weird junk? Oh, spare me the speeches. Let's just get on with it. Right, you come with me from now on. <laughs> That's my interpretation of Barrett. Here, open the door, buddy. Let's go. All right. Open that up, Jess. Thank you very much. All right, and if I recall correctly, there's a phoenix down over here. So I'm going to be doing this all by memory. I do want to do, I, I kind of want to do 100% completion. I want to get a gold chocolate ball. I want to get nice with the round. I want to be emerald weapon and ruby weapon, all that good stuff. I'll get all the turtle dove flyers to get all the, all the good stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, push the elevator button, I know. But yeah, that's what I really want to do. And I'm not sure about reading all the text in the game too, because that could just take forever. I get all tongue-tied when I'm doing Let's Plays, I get so excited, so here we go. The reactors are slowly draining away the planet's life. One day, that'll be that. Sorry, but I'm not interested. <laughs> Don't you get it, Cloud? The planet's gonna die! I just wanna get this job done before the Robo Guards arrive. <laughs> Barrett does look pretty well, I mean, it's a big improvement over the original model. What would be cool is if they could mod the game to where your characters could follow you, like they do in Final Fantasy VIII, your three main characters. That would be pretty sweet. So here we go. I remember when I first played this game, you guys, I, after I got down this ladder here, because obviously I was following Jess, I don't know if it was this one or the other, Mako Reactor 5, I had no idea where the hell I was supposed to go. Alright, here we go. Some baddies. Oh, I missed! 
There's one weird thing that Barrett does where he actually, you see, he gets near the enemy and then shoots them. I think that's something I have to fix later. But actually, I think it looks pretty cool. It's like he's about to attack and he's like, psych, and then he shoots them. This game's a lot easier than I remember. Even look at the floor, you guys. Even that's been upgraded as well. Wow, this is really awesome. Alright. So... Yeah, it was Maker Reactor 5. I had no idea where I was supposed to go. Because, you know, the jump from Super Nintendo to PlayStation was such a big, drastic jump for me. Sometimes with these 3D environments, I was like, where am I supposed to go? Because, you know, in platformers, you just went left and right on the, you know, the 16-bit days. I press OK in front of the ladder, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know this. Right. Yeah, actually, the first time I played it, well, I'll cross that. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So we'll get, I think it's the ether. No, it's a potion. All right, we're going to go down here. Go down here. Like, things like this, I wouldn't even know where to go. I was like, where am I supposed to go? And I just followed the path until I figured it out. But, man, the first time I played this, I think I played like 200 hours into the game because I was just so clueless when I came to playing these games. Bastard. As you can tell, the, uh... Yeah, not the soldier weird guys in the front here, but the, the machine thing in the back. He's actually been upgraded as well, too. You guys can really look at the textures and really see it. It's vastly improved. Improved, improved. Come on, Cloud. Alright, I'm not sure if I should waste my MP on this guy. I'm just gonna slice him to death here until he dies. This is really cool. They, you could tell all the work that went into the textures of this uh, this enemy here. Alright, good, he's dead. And I really like the new battle music in the background, too. I mean, it's cool now, but I don't know if later I'm gonna hate it from listening so much, so. Alright. Cool thing about these battles is they don't take too long, so it doesn't feel too grindy. So, since I'm not a pro at Let's Play, you guys, make sure to feel free to leave me comments and things I can do to improve the uh, the, the quality of the Let's Plays. So here goes our save, our first save point. We're gonna go ahead and save here. Um, I was actually playing the game, you know, uh, testing it before I decided to do a Let's Play. So what we're gonna, which is over here, save one and two. So for our Let's Plays, we're gonna use uh, save ten. So let's just go here. All right, cool. So that's the end of the first episode, you guys. Uh, we'll stay tuned until you see the next episode. Alright, guys. See ya. Bye.